Hello, welcome to RPM News Weekly, a roundup of important automotive news that goes behind the headlines. I'm your host, Rich Tabor. Whether it's the Ionic Hybrid, Plug-in Hybrid Electric, or All Electric EV, New England Motor Press Association members learn more about this new compact vehicle from Hyundai than you'll ever find in a brochure. Just remember to pronounce it Ionic. Rhymes with ironic. This week, RPM News Weekly traveled to the headquarters of the New England Motor Press Association, where we interviewed Hyundai Vice President of Product, Corporate, and Digital Planning, Mike O'Brien, following his detailed presentation on the all-new Ionic that ran the gamut from future transportation needs to the inner workings of the vehicle's polymer lithium-ion battery. Hi, Rich Tabor, RPM News Weekly, here in Middleborough at the Automotion Garage for a New England Motor Press Association meeting with the folks from Hyundai. We're here discussing the Ionic, and I'm with Mike O'Brien, Vice President of Product, Corporate, and Digital Services at Hyundai. Mike, great to see you tonight. Very good to be here. It's been a very good meeting that we've had tonight. I did have a couple of questions that uh, you would probably be the right person to ask about. Uh, one of them has to do with, uh, there seems to be like two tracks that you really have to be looking at when you talk about uh, EVs or hybrids. And, and one of them is the competition. Of course, there, there, there are some folks that are out here and the Ionique being a new vehicle, mm -hmm. uh, that's one thing. And the other thing is the public acceptance of uh, hybrid vehicles and electric vehicles. And how do you feel that the Ionique is going to be able to overcome both of those? Well, you know, all of us as manufacturers have to do a better job of talking about the goodness of these products. So the Ionic is the first ever vehicle that has one basic chassis and platform that has three powertrain choices. So the customer can choose the level of uh, electrification or greenness that they want in their lives and their, what their budget will afford. Uh, we have a hybrid vehicle that has the highest fuel economy of any gasoline fueled vehicle in the United States at 58 uh, MPG combined. We also have a plug-in hybrid uh, that'll be coming out in September that allows you to have the best of both worlds. You can drive purely on electricity if you want, or you could drive on gasoline when the battery's depleted, so you have over a 600 mile range. So no compromise whatsoever compared to a gasoline vehicle. You have the ability to drive completely green if you choose to do so, which you can do mostly in a daily commute with the range it has. And then of course we have the pure electric Ionic, which is 124 miles of pure EV driving. Uh, it comes standard with a fast charge mode that allows you to charge it very quickly. I think uh, in less than 25 minutes you get 80% charge. Uh, so it offers a pure EV, pure green driving experience at a very affordable price. And it's a compact car, so it's the same size as you know other category uh, cars in that category like our Elantra or a Ford Focus or Chevy Cruze, for example. Well, how easy is it to actually charge the electric vehicle? Completely automatic. Uh, when you open the door, you literally just plug the uh, nozzle. It looks like a fuel nozzle, but it's electricity instead of uh, gasoline. You plug it in, it's all handled automatically. Well, some of the cars have two plugs, and I noticed that the Ionic has a single plug. That's an advantage, I would think. Well, it's really an advance, and it was uh, developed in conjunction with the Society of Automotive Engineers, a U.S.-based organization. And the idea was, is as we move into the future uh, with higher capacity electric vehicles, a fast charge uh, capability is going to be essential for good widespread public acceptance. So the CCS plug that we feature, the single plug, will either charge at conventional what's called level 2 or 240 volt, which has been available for many years, but the newly emerging charge is a fast charge, and the fast charge requires this extra connector, but in the case of the CCS plug, it's all built into one plug, so it looks like a conventional nozzle without any complications. Here in New England, we're uh, fortunate to have a pretty good layout of electric charging stations. Uh, some of them are free, some of them have a charge system, charge point. Uh, is one of them that I can think of that uses uh, a, a charge, uh, like a tra credit card type of charging system. Uh, but I don't think we're the, the most dense uh, area of the country with charging stations. And how do you see that moving? What's the, wh what areas have even more charging uh, stations than we do here in New England? Well, of course, the uh, southwestern area of the United States is where there's most charging stations. Uh, according to charge point data, you can drive well over 1,100 miles uh, across uh, along the length of California and have a, a local battery charging station available, a charge point one, that's within 50 miles of one another during that whole 1,100 mile drive. In the case of the uh, New England area and the East Coast area, 
Uh, basically, you can go from Boston, you can go to travel south for over 450 miles with a public EV charging available within 50 miles every step of the way. So you could easily drive to Washington, D.C. with no concerns in terms of uh, uh, having enough range to get to a public charging station. Well, and the Ionique, the all-electric EV Ionique, that has a 124-mile range of, of before the batteries would need to be recharged. Mm -hmm. And with the fast charging that it has, you could, in 20 minutes, get a, over an 80% charge. Am I correct? Yes, that is correct. So 80% charge in a little over 20 minutes. Fantastic. Well, uh, no reason for Tesla to be sucking all of the air out of the room when they talk when someone talks about electric vehicles at this point. I believe that uh, uh, the Ionique is actually more efficient than uh, Tesla. Well, in, in reality, uh, at the end of the day, this is all about reducing uh, the carbon footprint of personal mobility. And we have to do that not only by electrifying our transportation, but also using less electricity because over today, nationally, over 67% of electricity is generated from either natural gas or coal, which means all we're doing is moving the tailpipe away from our car into a remote power plant. And so truly greening transportation is going to require less electricity. And right now the Ionic is the most efficient electric vehicle sold in the United States ever. It's almost, it was 31.6% more efficient than the Tesla Model S. Uh, it's quite a bit more efficient. I think it's 12% more efficient than the Chevy Volt, or Bolt, I'm sorry. So uh, basically we're very fortunate to have a vehicle that not only is great looking and has full five passenger seating, but also is the most efficient electric vehicle that's made today. Well, thank you very much, Mike. And I'm looking forward to seeing more of the Ionique here in New England. Thanks again, Rich Tabor for RPM News Weekly. Tune in next week for another edition of RPM News Weekly. I'm your host, Rich Tabor. Thank you for watching.